हेलो गाइस आज के लेक्चर में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं को आर्टिकुलेशन अफेक्ट्स के बारे में सो व्हाट द को आर्टिकुलेशन अफेक्ट इज एक्चुअली एंड व्हाट आर द टर्म्स इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सो द टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग आर एसिमिलेशन एंड एलिजन ओके वन मोर थिंग इज देयर वी विल डिस्कस बट बिफोर देयर व्हाट द को आर्टिकुलेशन अफेक्ट and what is alimin uh, what is assimilation and what is allusion okay we will discuss this so what the coarticulation effect actually is coarticulation effect means that articulation means uh, producing a sound a speech sound co means in the same time or together okay together pre pronouncing or producing a speech sound is or the uh we can say the influence of a speech sound on another while pronunciation these are called co articula articulation effects in linguistics okay let's see what what is the definition of a co articulation effect and what is assimilation and allusion uh we are going to discuss now okay co articulation effects co articulation refers to the phenomenon where the speech Uh, so where the articulation of one sound is influenced by neighboring sounds leading to assimilation or allusion co articulation is actually the combination of assimilation and allusion how for example in assimilation we have the influence of one speech sound on another in allusion sometime we remove or we can say omit a lead uh, sound speech sounds from the words so what is the reason behind we are going to discuss today so don't miss the video you people have to watch till the end okay so we will discuss now uh, assimilation what the assimilation is okay is a beautiful definition assimilation occurs when two sound segments occur in sequence two sound segments occur in sequence it occurs so what type of sound uh, segment should be there and one sound segment influences or copies some aspect of the other resulting in a modification of one or both sounds okay what is assimilation you know actually the occurring of two sounds in a sequence sound segments in a se se uh, sequence and there is influence of one sound on another one sound copies some aspect of the other sound resulting in modification of both sounds means when one uh, sound impacts on another then the pronunciation is totally different from the artificial way of speaking right sometime what we do you know we we go according to the grammar according to the phonetics that we will have to pronounce each and every sound accordingly but when we uh, use the assimilation rule the uh, allusion rule you know we miss some sounds and it doesn't matter it is a language still so this is the thing we are going to learn today okay so there there are examples in the phrase i have to so okay i will highlight this for you people i have to this is a phrase uh, i have to this is a phrase okay the voiced t sound in to becomes Uh, in to becomes this is the sound okay to becomes voiceless actually it, it becomes voiceless why it becomes voiceless voiceless due to the preceding voice due to the preceding voiceless w sound in half okay after half here is v sound sorry in half there is a v sound in the end okay sorry v sound in the end then after that there is t sound so it th becomes voiceless because of v sound okay becomes voiceless due to the preceding voiceless v sound in half resulting in the pronunciation have to now have to have to check this have to go this is have to go now have to this should be have to but here it is have to have to this is called assimilation okay where the v sound assimilates to a voiceless sound f sound how you know for example after that there is t sound t becomes voiceless one thing second the v sound becomes f sound so this is what actually the assimilation 
okay let's see we will have some more examples of assimilation and as well as the allusion okay vowel uh, vowels are also subject to uh, subject to assimilation such as in the word pin and pan where as uh, anticipation of forming the final nasal sound consonant makes it easier to nasalize the vowels resulting in the pronunciation pin and pan okay for example in p so, uh, pin sound we have p e m mm. now e is actually vowel because of the nasal sound you know that nasal is the uh, nasal sound is you know that it is um, uh, we pronounce with our nose that's why it's a nasal sound now the vowel is different actually the vowel sound follows the nasal sound because of that it influence it influences okay that is why it is also assimilate okay so we have to keep in mind this is done vowel and consonant both can be uh, subject to assimilation okay next is our allergen we will have some more examples right we have to keep watching okay allergen allergen refers to the omission or non pronunciation of a sound segment that might be uh, present in the careful pronunciation of the word typically occurring in casual speech okay actually the allergen that I, I had told you in the beginning that allergen means that the sound we omit from any word it is actually allergen this is the fact okay now we'll see in the example for example in the phrase you and me okay you and me uh the, the sound of the word and is often not pronounced due to the preceding nasal sound mm. and i told you that the nasal sound sometimes uh, we can say what uh, uh, omit the previous consonant or vowel okay and uh, following nasal mm, resulting in the pronunciation uh, where the d sound is omitted okay you and you and me you and me now this is actually you and me you and me okay the sound is you and me okay where it was you and me so the example was that you and me D is actually a consonant sound after that there is a nasal sound and this nasal sound and this nasal sound what impacts on this sound effects on this sound and removes this sound from the speech and we pronounce that you and me you and me you and me we don't say you and me we don't say you and me so it's correct not wrong okay this is called allergen okay now in consonant cluster especially in coda coda is now a new term okay i have a video on that i will give the uh, link you, uh, in the description you will have to keep watching it okay now cat this is a cat i have written here it is ka this is onset this a uh, is our nucleus and ties coda in this okay in uh, coda position sounds like ta are commonly omitted such as in the word aspects aspects pronounced as aspects this is actually aspect we pronounce aspects aspects we uh, emphasize on that and we pronounce the full sounds whereas if we say aspects this is also correct okay this is called what assimilate sorry allergen okay so we will have to keep in mind this too okay next is normal speech normal speech refers to the everyday mode of speaking characterized by natural spontaneous and often uh, rapid speech production where assimilation and allusion are common phenomena okay now in normal speech we do use but we don't know we have to keep in mind that sometimes we declare people they do not pronounce the things in a right way we say that but actually it is not like that they do speak they use uh, assimilation and allusion okay in normal speech assimilation allusion occur nearby sorry uh, regularly and they should not be considered as uh, sloppiness or laziness consistently avoiding these processes 
uh, process is would result in uh, artificial sound speech it means that when we use uh, the assimilation and allusion in our uh, speaking it doesn't mean that we are speaking wrong we should allow the people to speak that in the society oh, here's not wrong thing the study of a phonological process like assimilation and allusion in normal speech helps us understanding the regularities in pattern uh, and patterns underlying the actual use of sounds in language rather than uh, prescribing strict rules for pronunciation means that in the strict rules means that we do follow the grammar rules and we do follow the phonetics rules that each and every sound should be pronounced in a particular way then we are speaking and it is uh, not good whereas when we speak using allusion and assimilation it means that we are speaking like the native speakers so this was today's video i hope that you people have understood each and everything thank you so much thank you so much